in this exercise or lesson, I want to talk about a couple of different ways that you can format stuff. Um, they want you to know that you can change the formatting of text with find and replace, actually. I don't know that that would be my first option, but they want you to know. So here, if we go to replace right away, we in this particular document, I know that we have a bunch of headings called heading three. So that's what we use to create this document. A lot of our subheadings are heading three. If you decide you didn't like that, <clears throat> Um, here's one of the ways you can change it. So you can go to replace here and you can ask to, um, from here, you don't have to type anything at all. You can just go to format and style and say, find everything that's heading three style and okay. And from here in this window, I would say replace with style. I can go heading one if I wanted to, and it would replace heading one. But in this particular case, I want to go heading two. So I'm going to, so I'm doing a find and replace of my heading one's styles with heading two styles. And I'm just going to move this and I'm going to replace all. And it made 10 replacements. So anything that was heading three is now heading two. That's so many options in find and replace. We can spend an entire day. Uh, take some time, uh, look around. Uh, you can find anything and replace with anything. Um, I remember having a job where I was doing um, a training manual for, for a company and they wanted me to find the word guests all through the entire menu and make it bold because guests were important. Well, it was just a matter of, of typing the word guest like this, right? But they want the format, they wanted the format to be bold. So I had to come in here and bold isn't on this menu. Oh yeah, right here. I had to make it bold. So I was finding the regular guest, not hitting three though. I gotta get rid of that. And then I had to replace it with the same word, but bold. All right, so that's just an example of another thing that you can do with this menu. Now, if I'm gonna undo what I just did Right, so now these are all back to heading three. The other thing that you can do if you wanted to change all of that, uh, that I would probably do a little bit easier, I believe, would be just to right click on the style and say, select all 12 instances of that style. And while they're selected, just go over and click on heading two. And you've quickly and easily replaced all of those. So again, you right click on the one that you want to change. Say, yeah, select all 12. And then go to the style that you want it to be. and Bing, bang, boom, it's been done. Um, we talked about when we were formatting how you can quickly and easily just select all of these things with your control key, right? And then set the formatting if you wanted to. Uh, the other trick you have is F4. So if you format something a certain way, so let's say I wanted this to be blue and underlying, I would, okay? Um, Oh, F4 will only redo the underline. My bad. So that wouldn't work. Uh, the other thing you can do, a real good one here, is I would take a paint sample. So first format it the way you want it to be. All right, so format this. I'll even get the enter here. So I want blue and I want underline, right? And that's the font that I want. If I wanted to change font, of course I can. So now here are the trick. Here are the tips or the steps. You take a paint sample and you go to the paint store. Okay, if I click once, it allows me to paint one thing. Smarter though, if you knew you had more to do, you go to the, you would take a paint sample. When you go to the paint store, double click. And that means you can keep painting and painting and painting until you turn it off. So I'm just gonna keep painting here and everything I, that I select is reproducing everything from the font menu. This is a very handy, practical, 
everyday type tool that gets used very often. There's a reason Format Painter is right up there where cut, copy, copy, and paste is because it's incredibly popular. F4 is also incredibly popular, but F4 would only be giving me the last thing that I did. So I'm just painting away, right? When you're done, you simply click this once and turn it off and you're back to working in regular mode. So those are two other ways that you can apply formatting. Okay, one was with find and replace, one was with just switching styles, and the other, the ever popular format painter.